Yo, what is up YouTube? Welcome back to a brand new video, which Jacob from Tiny Tapes here, bringing you guys a brand new tutorial. Today, we're going to be breaking down my editing workflow and how I go about editing a music video. This is going to be the beginning of a series. If you guys find tutorials like these helpful, make sure you guys go check out our editing packs and merch. They're linked in the description below. That helps directly support us so I can bring you guys these tutorials and it helps us travel so we can go and shoot all these videos for all these artists. Um, anyways, guys, without further ado, let's get right into the video. So we're going to start here with Premiere. We're going to create a new project and then we're going to go over to browse. So the way I like to have this set up is I'll have my external hard drive and then I'll have a music videos folder. And then today we're going to be working on Ty Fontaine too. So I'm just going to open this up here. So I like to create a folder that has all the footage in it. So once we open this up, I can show you guys. We shot this music video with two different cameras. So I'm just sorting the footage by camera. We have the A7S III footage here and then we have the Blackmagic 6K footage right here. But what I'm going to do since we're about to open Premiere, I'm going to right click, hit new folder. I'm going to name this folder Premiere and After Effects. So what I like to do is put my Premiere project file and my After Effects project file into this one folder. So let's jump into Premiere now. We're going to open up Premiere here. And I already clicked to create a new project. We're going to name this project Ty Fontaine 2. And then I'm just going to save it under Ty Fontaine 2, Premiere and After Effects, and then hit select folder. It's going to be saved under there. So as you can see, I have my full layout here. Let me just drag this down for my second monitor. This is my full music video editing layout. It's very different compared to the Adobe stock layout. I have my project, my effects, my effect controls, and my Illumetri color all on the right side, my timeline in the middle, and then my program and source on the left side, and then an audio bar here. You don't have to have this audio bar, I just like to have it. First thing I do is I like to go to the footage and I drag and drop the footage. Control A, drop, wait for that to load, and then we're gonna go over to the 6K footage. Control A, drag and drop. And then just by pressing tilde, it's the little squiggly line underneath of the escape key. It just full screens whatever you're hovering over. So what I like to do next is I go create new bin. I'll create one for performance, one for B-roll, and then I like to use slow shutter. So I like to create one for that as well. Oh yeah, and just like that, uh, we're gonna go through now and we are going to organize our footage. So what I'll do is I will make this one bigger, make this one bigger, and kind of eliminate the uh, timeline there because you're not using it right now. So I'm just gonna click and hover through these. I'm not too sure why this recorded lip ratio, like iPhone ratio, but it's slow shutter as you guys can see. What we're gonna do is we're gonna click tilde again drag this into the slow shutter bin and just organize your footage as is so make sure you're just like hovering through the clips so that's slow shutter again put that in the slow shutter bin also i completely forgot if you guys want to see your footage in order hit this little arrow down here and list view sort you guys should do that at the very beginning i completely forgot so let's go back here this is just testing out how it would look on camera uh this can't even use this for the video i'm just gonna delete this that's B-roll there, it's not a full performance scene, but he's still doing something, so maybe we could use that later on in the video. I don't like to delete any clips of just the artist doing something random for a couple of seconds, or because you never know when you could use it, especially if you're not working with a lot of footage. So this is a full performance scene here, so we're gonna drag this one into performance. Another performance scene there. So as you can see, like once you really get into it, uh, you can get this done pretty fast. So I'm just gonna speed this up and do this myself. <laughs> All right, so I just finished sorting all the footage. What we're gonna do next is kind of extend these back to the way they were before. And then let's drag and drop the song into the project file, just like so. All right, so now once the song is in here, this is the next step that I think a lot of you guys are gonna benefit from, from the most if you don't already do it this way. So as you can see, we have 16 performance scenes there. Uh, so what we're gonna start doing is dragging them in, just like so. And see the way how I'm dragging it, how I have to do it one layer above, because if I drag it like this, It'll just replace that other audio clip. So you have to do it one layer above. I'm going to do this for all of the performance scenes clips. And then we're going to move on to the next step. I'm almost done here. So just bear with me. Let's move on to the next step now. So what I'm going to do, see how this fills up like the whole thing. I'm going to do control minus on my keyboard. Doing control plus or minus on your keyboard does literally just makes them either bigger or smaller. So it's easier to work with for your timeline. All right. So what we're going to do next, as you can see at the very bottom here, this is the A7S III footage. The microphone on the A7S III is a lot louder than the microphone on the Blackmagic 6K, which was the second cam we used. So I don't know if you guys can see here, but all of these audio clips are like super, super, super low. I'm just holding control and scrolling on my mouse to go up and down just like this. So as you can see, like there's barely anything here on this clip. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight all of these Blackmagic 6K clips right click on them go to audio gang and let's try about 15. so there we go we have a lot more information to work with there what i'm going to do next is now they're all kind of balanced i'm going to highlight all of them now right click audio gain and then bring it up by about seven so that looks about good there if you compare it to the actual the song it's about the same maybe this one can come up a little bit more so what i just like to balance the audio so it's easier for the next step all right so once you have all the audio balanced what we're going to do next is we're going to control a which highlights all of these here we're going to right click 
and then we're going to hit synchronize. Now what this is going to do is it's going to synchronize all of the audio so it's all lined up. So I'm not too sure what you guys did before this, before you learned about this, if this is your first time learning about it, or if you knew this before this tutorial. But uh, before I knew about synchronize and premiere, I literally would manually sync all of my clips and it would take me about half an hour to 45 minutes until I learned about this. It'll be automatically set to clip start. You want to come down to audio and then change this to mix down and then just hit OK and it will process. It said could not synchronize one or more clips in the current selection. So that means that one of the clips here is going to be out of sync. So the way to work with that is since all these are linked, I kind of want to like drag them. So see how I'm kind of just like making like a staircase here. Um, there probably is a better way to do this now that I'm thinking about it, but I've just done this since day one. So and if you want to press S on your keyboard, it takes off the auto lock. All right. So now we have these all sync like a staircase we're going to press Control a again now you're going to see what this does here so if one doesn't sync we can tell which one it is because it's all in like a staircase uh synchronize once again make sure you have these settings hit okay and now that we can tell that this one here is not synced so now we can see like how low the audio actually is in this one so we're going to right click audio gain and let's turn this up by 20. it's a lot louder now and let's try and resync that could not be found okay so now if this happens if you can still not find a match um we're gonna highlight all of these and bring them to the very very beginning just like so and then we're going to zoom in here just by pressing alt and scrolling and uh what we're gonna do is we're going to line all of these clips up press s again so we have our auto lock on line them all up with the audio file just so it's lined up so we can drag it to the very very beginning of the timeline um i know people that like to edit in like the middle of their timelines i always do it at the very beginning and as you can see for this one here it's still not synced so the way we're going to do this is we're just going to disable this clip here and then we're going to highlight all of these and then disable those. I have E set to enable and disable on my keyboard. I recommend you guys do that. I will have a whole separate tutorial on that coming in the future. But uh, yeah, we're gonna turn this one right back on. And so now we just have this video and this audio, everything else is turned off. Slay, man. Okay, for real, all right. And then we're just gonna look for a point that he says something. For real, all right. Okay, 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 right there. For real, all right. Okay, for and then we're gonna find that exact part. Right here now. Right there is where he says okay. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna drag this clip just like that, delete this one, and then extend this and see if it matches. I think that's synced there. So what we're going to do is press E again and turn that one off. Uh, highlight all of these. Press E in our keyboard to turn them all back on. Highlight all of the audio clips here. Uh, let me just make sure I'm getting all of them. Once again, I'm just holding control and scrolling with my mouse to go up and down like this. We're going to highlight all these audio clips at the bottom now that everything's synced. Right click, unlink, highlight all of them again. Hit delete. Control, scroll back up. I like to really increase the size of my audio file just so I can see like where the hi-hats hit, where the bass hits. So for when I'm cutting and uh, yeah, now all your footage is synced as I'll play for here, here. She going crazy in different positions. I'm in a position get having his way. Okay. okay. I've been that one nigga having his way every day and every other day. Just like that. And all of the Sony footage was shot in 4K and this is a 1080p timeline. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight all of this Sony footage, right click and then scale the frame size. And now everything is the proper size. And then all the Blackmagic 6K footage was actually shot in 1080p. I don't know if most of you guys know, but a lot of uh, artists that are signed, they want all their videos in 1080p. Like if you give them a video that's 4K, they'll want you to convert it to 1080p because that's just the industry standard. So keep that in mind for the future. And yeah, guys, I think I'm going to leave it at that for this video. I taught you guys how to load up your files, how to organize your files properly, how to start the organizing in your actual folder and how to synchronize all the audio in the easiest way possible. I think in part two, we're going to get into coloring, which is the next step. And then in part three, we're going to get into cutting. So yeah, guys, if you like this video and you want to see more tutorials just like this, leave a thumbs up. And if you guys want to go support us so we can go shoot more videos like this for bigger rap artists in the underground scene, and bring you guys more tutorials just like this make sure you guys go check out our editing packs and our merch once again they're linked in the description below i'll give you guys code tiny15 to give you guys 15 percent off the t-shirts the editing packs all that once again guys thank you guys so much for watching and uh, make sure you subscribe and turn the notification bell on for more content see you guys in the next one